good evening today we are going to see how to use substitute items in order management as well as in procurement okay for that we have to uh, we have to set up uh, items and we have to set up organizations inventory organization okay so we have to set up items so first of all i will see that how to set up the items to enable that uh, substitution items in order management okay so for that you have to go to product management and product information management EAM then go to manage item we already set up so I will show the how to set up it is a root to item class then substitute items okay click on key substitute item then go to specification go to purchasing in that if you are using for purchasing you have to use a, a low substitute attributes then only we can when we receiving the items we can substitute the items okay this is for uh, again for the other management you have to go to relationships and we have to use this is for uh, for which item we have to substitute so for that i am using aom aom my item this is okay click on eight more so if you are using for OM, you have to enable planning enable. Reciprocal means suppose we have two items are there, A and B. Suppose uh, if I, if A item is available, B item is available when A item is not available. But is suppose we have A and B items. So A item has not a sufficient uh, quantity, then B item will be picked up. And vice versa. Okay. For that, if you use reciprocal, it will act. This is for how to set up uh, substitute items. You have to go to relationships and you have to enable. You have to go to related items and in related items, you have to set up the item. Okay. This is uh, for item setup. And second thing uh, in that, what happened? Both items have to be in same mode that is a uh, you got, you got, you got my point right what is it you got my point right or you go to your view in that uh, the prime primary um has a match suppose if we are substituting with the b item both has to be in e uh, Muta variable must be same, okay? Then only it will be clear. And in for in inventory aggregations also you have to be set up. For that you have to go to setup and maintenance. And go to general search, global search. Inventory organization. Our fifth zero zero one. Oh. 
go to naming organization parameters. Then we have to enable this. Where both accept substitute items. Then only we can accept. Okay. So the setup has to be done in three weeks. The time uh, in, in setting up for items, we have to enable substitute items and we have to give, uh, give the deleted items. And that uh, then in other uh, organization parameter, we have to enable warehouse access substitute items. I will show again for items configuration. This is for organization parameters. For items, we have to Set up go to uh, 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 PIM part information management and go to manage items because we set up in root item class. Then we have to create substitute item. In that, we have to go to special case of and purchasing, and we have to enable allow substitute receipts, then only we will accept when we are receiving the items. Okay. And also, to set up the item, so for, uh, you have to go to relationships, substitute item, you have to go to related items, then you have to enable, you have to add this, okay? For then only it will accept. And for the planning, you have to for the OIF, then you have to enable this, okay? So, Tomorrow we'll see how to create orders with substitute item and while as a POS in procurement. Okay. So thank you. If you have any doors, please ping me on YouTube comment section on how to create substitute items. Prepare.